singer, dancer, and reality star who we all know and love from VH1's hit show, Love & Hip Hop Miami. Please welcome our friend, Amara La Negra. Hey! You recently actually shared something that's pretty personal, and it was that you were <laughs> homeless for three months. Yes. Number one, we'd like to know, you know, how does that happen? And two, why did you feel that it was so important to share a story like this? I just feel that people sometimes can be so judgmental mm -hmm. without knowing what you've been through yes. and yeah. the reasons why you have certain personality. And in my case, I fell in love with this guy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I hope he's watching me now. Okay. <laughs> Everything he told me to do, I would do. Long story short, I, you know, he was my manager at the time. Um, I didn't administrate my money. He would do everything. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you're hungry, I'll buy it. You want clothes, I'll buy it. Yeah. But he would never actually give me my yeah. money. Yeah. 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 So then when he decided, you know, to talk to my mom some type of way, she ended up leaving and I had to leave as well. And, you know, I lived in my car. I would park in front of supermarkets where I knew that there were cameras and I would wash up and stuff. And... Nobody ever knew that I was going through it. Yeah, wow. wow. Well, you well, definitely come a long way because yes. you ended up buying your mom her own home. Yes. that for your mom? It felt great. Everybody that knows me knows that I love my mother yeah. and I do everything to please her. So just knowing, obviously, as an immigrant, the, the dream is to be able to make it in America. Yeah. So I was like, you know what, mama? I got you. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to buy you your house. Oh, that's right. That's so Good amazing. girl. So I love it. Not only does your mom live in that house, you live there yes. also with your boyfriend. Yes. How is all that working, all y'all under one roof? Bueno, mama, you know I'm very Latina. This is like a normal <laughs> thing. You could be like 30, 40, and you still live with Word. your parents. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And you got to stay because it'd be tough out here in the yes. streets. Okay. Yeah. Your parents move in with you. Like, yeah. Like, I, I just feel like, like I would never leave my mom. I always say that my mom would never leave me for a man. So no matter what, I'm always going to have my mom. And I'm that the only part. child as well. Yeah, yes. that's so I right. Can't yes. leave her. I know that. I got that. I can't it's a big that. house. It's a big house. Yeah. It's seven stages, you know what I'm saying? Hey! Hey! That's good. <laughs> okay, well, now, you and MJ, your boyfriend, have been yes. together for a year now. And recently, I heard MJ threw down an ultimatum. Tell us about uh -oh. this. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Everybody listen to this. <laughs> so he said that he, you know, he basically gives me two years to, you know, get pregnant and because he wants to have children. Okay. So he's like, I'm ready. I want to be a father now. Let's go. And I'm like, let's go where? <laughs> like, <laughs> so he's like, you know, if in two years, you're, you know, you're not ready to have kids, then, you know. And I was like, you know what? Then you know what, exactly. Yeah. So what I don't is... know. I'm still trying to figure out that what part. <laughs> right, right, right. So are you ready to have kids? No. Okay. <laughs> well, what about getting married first? Why don't he do that first? Thank you. Beyonce said the best. If you're lucky, you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> but, yeah, do you guys I... talk about marriage? We've spoken about marriage and everything. We've only been together for a year. Yeah. I know that for everybody yeah. it's different. Sometimes you just feel like you're ready. But in my case, my career is my priority. Mm -hmm. And there's so many things I want to establish first before I have children because I want to be the best mother I can be. Yeah. And I, I don't feel like I'll be able to do that unless until I fulfill those things for me as a woman. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And there is nothing yeah. wrong with that. Right. Okay, so we can see how well you take care of your body. Because oh, oh. you definitely have been posting up a storm on hey. Instagram. Uh -huh. Take a look at these poses. We have the pictures. <laughs> yes. Yay. Yay. Whoa. Whoa. What is going on <laughs> here? You know, I'm naturally very flexible. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can you tell? Really? Yeah. So there was a moment in time, yeah, that I was taking, you know, I was doing yoga and all that type of stuff. And mm -hmm. then I realized, wow, I can really do these things. And, you know, they come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, no, for your body. It's yeah, good of to course, stretch. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 It's good like, to like, stretch. Sure. When you're I'm sure that these do. photos have <laughs> caught a lot of people's eye. But... Uh, another person who actually caught your eye, you guys were at the same place at the same time, was Martin Lawrence. Tell us about it. Oh, my God. Martin, are you watching? Oh, my God. I love you so much. Please, you know, give me a call. I set up in your DM. I don't know if you saw it. Okay, but look. Okay. Um, 
I was, I'm actually doing the Latin version of Dancing with the Stars as a host. Nice. Fine. Okay. So he was there. Yes. Thank you. He was there, and I literally stalked him outside the studio. Like, can I please take a picture with you? I'm such a fan. And then he was like, oh, my God, I love you. I watch all the time. I'm like, you know me? Oh, this is huge. So I was like, you know, I'm such a fan. I admire him so much. And, you know, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? I'm down there for Bad Boys 4. Come on,